Hey guys, this is Jake from Memory Cards, and I'm here doing a review on Tiny Barbarian DX on the Nintendo Switch. Tiny Barbarian is inspired by heroic fantasy fiction, and I know that it's also inspired by Conan the Barbarian. Tiny Barbarian DX combines engaging 2D platforming action and combo-based hack and slash combat with retro-style pixel art and a loincloth stirring chiptune soundtrack. So Tiny Barbarian actually took me by surprise because I had no idea that this game even existed. Um, I was lucky enough to find out about its existence from the Nintendo Switch subreddit. As soon as I saw that Nykalis was involved in the distribution and development of this game, I knew it was something that I would be very happy to play and have in my library. And I'm really happy to report that that stands true. Tiny Barbarian DX is easily, without a doubt, one of my favorite quote-unquote indie titles on the Nintendo Switch as of right now. Everything from the gameplay, the controls, to the music, the sound effects, and the graphics are just 10 out of 10 for me. Like, it just hits every perfect note. For some reason, I get some sort of Aladdin from the SNES vibe from this game, and I have to admit that that makes me enjoy the game even more. A great thing about the Switch version of this game is that it comes with all four episodes in one package, unlike the Steam version, which had it episodic. It's honestly been a long time since I played an action platformer that was this challenging. Not only do you get to fight a lot of enemies in each episode, I guess, you also get to find and discover a lot of hidden items, whether that be just health potions, uh, cash, points, anything like that, which is always enjoyable in a game like this. Tiny Barbarian really does its job of capturing the action platformer genre of old, and it's up there to me with a game like Shovel Knight, which I hold high as one of my favorite action platformers of the last few years. One thing that I think Tiny Barbarian DX really nails is the fact that every single time you boot up the game, you are greeted with the game's horde mode. So without actually having to go and select the horde mode, you are just thrown into it every single time you boot up the game. I think that's really good for showing somebody who is new to the game and new to this type of game how you would be able to control your character and just show them how to play the game itself. So I know a lot of people really like to base how much a game is worth on how long they're able to play it for. And Tiny Barbarian DX is roughly around four hours if you're referencing howlongtobeat.com. I know for some people that may be a turnoff, but... I definitely think that Tiny Barbarian comes with enough content to warrant the $30 price tag. Not only do you get four episodes, which are entirely different stories, and they have a lot of different gameplay elements in each story, you get the Horde mode and you get a co-op mode, which sadly I haven't had anybody to play that with yet, but hopefully I'll do some sort of video in the future showing that off. But everything that I've heard about the co-op mode is fantastic. So I definitely think that this game warrants its $30 price tag, especially if you get the physical edition, which will come with a lot of special goodies like Nykalis likes to do with all of their games. So yeah, all in all, I would 100% recommend this game to almost anybody. I think this actually might become my new go-to game to recommend to anybody when they're talking about having any sort of game on the Switch. This game honestly just hits every single nail on the head for me. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the review. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to start a conversation with you guys.